Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. It took some doing, but it took me actually like thinking about it for a little bit, but I did figure this out. So, at least I think I've got it figured out. So if we look at his note, right? His crash to crash note, hold on. Um, reminder, right? A equals 11 and Z equals 10, okay? So what I'm thinking, and I did get a little help from online, but I tried to avoid actually getting the answer, but this is like a, a numeric substitution code, right? And so if we look at his safe, crash is scratched above it, right? So, hold on, I forgot what number is what, hold on. So A is 11, so C is 13. Right, one, three. Now, what I have to fiddle with is I think I've got this, I just have to do, so that's gonna be two. And I don't know if I have to put in zero, two, or just two. So R, A, S, hold on. Do we have to go all the way around then? Hold on. Um, S, maybe. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, good. <laughs> so the reason I got stuck is I was thinking about it linearly, where like a number 13 doesn't fit in one digit place, but it isn't substituted like that. It's just the numbers um, to crash, even though it's eight digits is that many things. So we've got $200, software disk, it crashes ID. That's awesome. Shockwave, so we've got some stuff to burn here. Okay. I would like to thank the Steam community for answering my questions without giving me the answer and giving me a point in the right direction because I was I was having some struggles. It is true. All right, so there's Crash's ID. <laughs> Wade Murphy, look at him. Sellout. Um, all right, so that's him. So are we ready to take on the company? Because we got a name, got papers. Got him, he's gonna be like, he's gonna have PTSD, which I feel bad about exploiting, but. And then she knows that um, Mitchell, the chief security officer, attacked her friend. So my thought is, if we deal with him and make him kooky kooky, then we can talk to her and tell him like, Kookatron 5000 is actually um, the responsible for his friend's death. And then we can take out Crash either before or after that. That's my plan. Because, like, I, I have a feeling that if you fail these, they resort to, like, violence, and then you have to deal with some stuff. So, ooh. Well, whatever. Um, let's go to Tony's. Yeah, at least I'm, I'm glad that that worked out, because otherwise I would be sad. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dax. I am troubling ready. You. That's what he says. Right, let's take a look at you. You good? Bad. That's my girl. Now you got enough supplies, ammo, everything? Did you gather intel on all those key cards? Gotta know where to find all three. Hold on, uh, come to think of it, I do need a minute. what you gotta do. All right, just hold on. I need to look at my ammo situation. I don't, I only have three clips of bullets, which isn't very many, and I have 20 stimpaks and three kebabs, bless Hassan's heart. Um, I'm, not, I'm just gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that, sell this stuff. Um, yeah, so I think, I think I'm going to go buy, like, some more guns and ammo, basically. Um, I'm going to head downtown, if at all possible. Taijo, and then from here, oh, wait a minute, I'm, like, so far away, hold on. We'll just go this way. Um, yeah, because I want as many bullets as possible, so I'm going to go here. Gonna How sell. do you do, stranger? Yeah, hey. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that, because I don't even have that gun anymore. Um, she won't... Nobody will buy my dart gun. She will buy, buy... I just accidentally bought a steel chain. Great. Um, I'm still going to hold on to those. I have hope that George is going to come back. That, like, once he's feeling better, he's going to... going to come back and do something. I have no idea where he is. He's, he's wandered off. Um... But I suppose that's what you do when you are on the run. Um, but I hope he's doing better. Okay, let's get. Welcome back, Miss. 
just a whole bunch, just a whole bunch of magnum ammo. Just, just so many magnum ammo. Just so many. Just 11 clips worth. Now I am ready. Because I have 20 healing items and uh, 11 magazines of revolver ammo. I should be good to go to Tony's. Um, Alright, let's go through with this thing. I am ready. I'm not sure if this is the end game or just like the crest, but we'll see. Hey Dax. I'm ready. That's what he said. That's my girl. Um, Night. check and check. Good. Now, Richmond's got the security systems on the string pole. He'll mask your approach. But you've still gotta watch for cameras, drones, and alarms, right? Got it. I'll be with you on comms every step of the way. Richmond will live assist too. <sighs> Good luck out there. Thank you. I'm so excited. Alright, listen up, Blue. Security's gonna be extremely tight in there, so watch your step and stay away from cameras as much as you can. Me and Richmond will be with you every step of the way. Okay. Um. What about cameras on the roof? Are there any of those? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, here we go. This part of the facility's been on lockdown ever since the accident. Elevator malfunctioned, three died. Just watch your step, okay? You'll end up around the lobby. Alright, hold on. I like how they're like, hey, look out for all these cameras, and there's no cameras yet. So let's jump to this thing. And then climb down. Well, I could have done that probably more gracefully, but... Oh yeah, and I could have done that more gracefully, because there's this right here. Okay, so I could just go up the... I can... If I need to get back out of here, I can climb up the mantles one at a time. And then go up there. I hope I don't have to fight anybody until I'm done regenerating. Um, okay. Oh, neat. Alright, we're in the foyer. Foyer? Foyer. Okay, my... Uh, Crash's office is in the west wing. Ellie should be in one of the labs right above you. As for Mitchell, you'll find the barracks in the east wing. All right, let's go to the east wing first. I want to deal with this stuff as much as I can. Okay, um, GSV2 entrance, derelict shaft. Let's go this way just for a minute. <laughs> the vending machines are still working. Uh, you gotta get your priorities straight with your top, se top secret facilities, don't you? I took an unnecessary hit. I'm gonna take that dollars. Alright, so... Let's hack him. I'm just gonna try to maintain as low of a profile as I can, so I'm gonna do mostly stealth profile, or stealth takedowns. Um, Alright, so let's just... Just hold the phone for a minute. That said security wing, but east is normally to the left. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go this way. Security level seems good, right? No, let's go this way. I want to go to the right. I'm not sure if it's the right way. It's fine. We'll just go this way. Here we go. Stop hurting me for butt's sakes. So much hurts. Okay, here we go. This is it. GSV2's behind those doors. But you're not getting in until you've uh -oh. bagged all three of those damn key cards. Okay. Oh. Alright, so that makes a lot of sense. So, hold on. Come on, Space Marine. I got you. Nice. Alright. Um, nice of you to give me some more Magnum ammo. Alright, so... That's definitely security level 3. And we can't... I accidentally... Like, Alright, so I can go up here. 
I don't really know where I want to go yet, but... Oh, Garrison. That sounds like a place. My thought is... Gosh darn it. So my thought and the reason I'm picking on Mitchell first is if, um, like, if you do have to fight them or there's some kind of boss fight involved, it's probably with him, right? Because Ellie, we might be able to, like, convince to not fight us at all. And the security hacker guy, like the last hacker we fought, really didn't ask anything of us at all. So what I'm thinking is we basically just hope that we fight him while we have full strength. And then as the op goes on, we tend to run out of juice. So my thought is if I fight him first, I'll be better off, maybe? I, I don't know. Mitchell's office should be up there. But if you want to use that footage against him, you need to get into Crash's office first and upload the footage there. I'll try to work my magic for the rest. Oh, okay. So that, that actually gives me an order in which I should be doing these. Which means I shouldn't be going this way at all. I need to go... Um, past lab 3. Past lab 2. So these are not actual things I can deal with. Let's go this way. Yeah, so we need to get to Crash's office first. Because then we could own the whole network. And from there we could upload the footage. So hopefully that will belay any kind of boss fight. But who the heck knows, really? I hope you guys aren't sick of me doing this for every fight, but... Okay, okay, god. They make it just long enough that you can't really get two out. Which I guess makes sense. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Security. No way you can hack this. You'll need his DNA data. Try the admin servers. They're on the third floor above the lobby. Okay. And this is just going, getting better and better. All right. Um. So above the lobby, huh? Can I go up there? No, there is no way I can, can make that jump. I guess there is. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I actually really like how, um, like, the ganger enemies, like the cedars and the slicers and stuff, are all really, um, like, really, like, melee monsters, right? And you can just, they'll just knock through your guard and they'll smash you around. And all these corporate security types, you just punch them and they die. Like, it's definitely not that great. Um, whose office is this? Wedge? Oh, I can upgrade my wedge, sure. I'll do that. No big deal. Alright, um... Scott to David. A bit of a problem. I'm increasing the difficulty with dealing with questions from my department on what will happen to the staff after the release of GSV2. Rightfully, they are all nervous and suspect I'm withholding information. The main sticking point is they are, of course, worried their department will suffer cuts after they've served their purpose. We could feasibly lose some of our best people if we're not careful. David, I've seen evidence that was one of two of them looking, or looking at other opportunities. Scott, I understand the situation you're in, but it's simply not an option to release plans for post-GTV2 release. As I said before, it's a security nightmare. Please assure your people they will all be employed after the release, albeit with some shifting around. HR will be inviting everyone straight after the release, and I'll have to think of, in the meantime, how else I might be able to help. Golf tomorrow morning? Huh. <laughs> I announce a special holiday bonus to be awarded all Redwood Watts permanent staff this summer. Sum of 10% of your annual salary. Jer Jer first. July 1st. I can't say words. Um, Mitchell, I would like to personally offer my praise for your regiment's handling of last week's infiltration. Great work. Once again, your men have shown themselves to be highly resourceful and dependable. For your information, the body has been identified. A rogue hacker believes to have uh, um, affiliations with underground terrorist organizations. Resuspect re re Raycast was also behind the infiltration attempt. Our thanks and good work. Please also be on your guard for reoccurrence. It's feasible that others may also enter your facility with intent. So we're not the first messiah that Raycast has sent down this mission. We are, however, the first one to keep breathing thus far. Um, up. OK. 
I'm going to save that in case I need it. Um, not sure. Okay. Sensible enough. So he said the admin office was on the third floor above the lobby. So let's take the stairs up he here. No, isn't there a... Yeah, up there. How do I get up there? Darn it. Oh, can you get up there from up there? No. All right. Can we do... Can we take the shaft, maybe? <laughs> I, it doesn't seem right, but... Because this is, like, still marked as Itcher Corp. Like, this isn't even a thing. Um, yep. Yeah, because this doesn't lead to the same place, right? No, this doesn't even lead to any place. It's just a bunch of junk. Okay, we're done with that. That is frustrating. Um, Let's try going off to the right again. And then up from there. And then over back to the left. I don't know. This facility so far has taken a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, go to the GSV entrance. Because this had stairs up in it. Okay. Yeah, or didn't really have stairs, it had this. Um, okay. Okay, there's, there's like health kits all over the place here, so I'll have to remember those. So, there's that. So then I go, if I go this way, is like, does this lead anywhere? No. Like, I, I yeah, I distinctly remember checking that. So, let's see if there's something that'll let us in above the foyer here. Also, look, there's like a... Maybe this will help. Sneaking's pretty cool. Okay, this is just ridiculous. And also, it's not really leading us anywhere. Um. Oh, I can just take the elevator. To the first... Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Hold on. You need to stop. Yeah, I know, man. It's crazy. It's like your friend just, his brain got hacked, and then he fell down. It's super weird. Whoops, I don't know what happened. Alright, so there's the administration. Okay, so you just have to take the darn elevator. I don't know why... I... He said the elevator was broken, but it was elevator 3, the one that was involved in the accident, not elevator, like... Whatever, this one. You want to stop for a minute, please? Let's go shoot this guy. Ow. If you actually let them hit you, they do a bunch of damage, that's for sure. I let him hit me. That was for sure. That was that was for show. That was for dramatic tension. I, it wasn't because I stopped pushing the button and just spazzed out. Alright, um. Let's see what we got for the administration floor then. Nice little snack cubby. Oh man, that guy just took it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow, stop it. Now, I will say that this healing mod has, like, paid for itself already. Even with its incredibly slow regeneration, just the ability that I don't have to spend healing items for, like, little... Getting shot once or twice is so nice. Um, let's see here. Hopefully not too hot in here. I will also say lockpicking has paid off, like, crazy. Um, a focus recharge? Hell yeah, I'll take a focus recharge. Because I guess we're going to have to go in here and hack something. Is there anything that I want that's one point? I'd take the first point of barter, but that doesn't seem pr prudent right now. So I'll just sit on it. Um, okay. Okay. 
Dear James, just to inform you, the new coffee machine is expected to be coming this Monday at 10 a.m. Installation will take approximately one hour. I was told it will not be noisy in process, so it shouldn't disturb. Please, I could remind you to select the list of coffee beans and the brochure I circulated last week. We can alternate bean choices on a monthly basis, but I need to know what to order first. I'm really glad that I read that. Like, that's a thing that definitely somebody wrote for this game as fluff, and the HR department cares about coffee, just, just like in real life. I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you. What is that? Spammer just seems like a like a crappier crappier wedge. But I think Spam has some special property. I should read it, but Following the uncovery of a new high security threat exploit, we've updated our policy on staff connection to Redwood Watts, email servers on and off the premise. Premises. You're no longer able to access email when off site. Please allow me to reiterate our policy on zero work related communication when off site. Still stands. We thank you for your helping us prevent data theft. Dear valued Redwood Watts staff member, this is a reminder to please RSVP for next month's togetherness event. The staff and family's trip to Dino World. Please use the RSVP function in the invitation we circulated last week. So HR is basically... Oh, and that was Crash sending that email about not allowing people to connect to their email at all. But, um... The freaking HR department is basically just the same as every other HR department in the real world. Pulse wave. Wow. That was not what I wanted. Not at all. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Um, free focus. Alright, go back down here somewhere. Nope, it was over more. Yep. Just gonna shoot you because I can. Makes me feel good. Hey Mitch, I haven't seen you around for a while. Hope all is well. I was thinking about Friday evening. If you have no plans, maybe we could go out. This really could do with forgetting science for an evening. I can tell you. Ah, Ellie. Um, amazing. I was actually asking, writing to ask you out when your mail arrived. Man, this world is so full of beautiful mysteries. Sure, Friday would be perfect. I'll pick you up at 7.30. Gross. Um, Access port? Okay, so like this actually has a server that goes deeper. Unlike most of the things we've dealt with so far that are like one tier. We'll we'll get out of this surface communication here in a minute, but while we're here, we might as well sweep it clean. Um Type 3 removal of Tom Scott, senior data analyst. I had a look at his calendar. I think this weekend would be best. Maybe Friday evening. Thanks. Um Certainly, sir, I've consulted Kong's calendar. I'd prefer to conduct the operation on Saturday. This transaction history on that day provides plenty enough regularity for me to pick up a suitable place for removal. Yikes. This is just straight up a... Like, just straight up a, like a, a murder. Like, just a re staff removal. Okay, um... So wait a darn minute. Mitchell is the head of security, and Ellie is the scientist. So Mitchell killed... Ian, her best friend and longtime friend, like longtime co worker, killed her best friend and then. Ow. And then, like, went out on a date with her? That's fucking crazy. Well, whatever. Um, from Tom Scott. Dear Owen, going through the projected node maps for the post GST V2 release, and in all honesty, what I'm seeing makes me a little uncomfortable especially considering the high confidentiality of our work. I mean, the public has no say in what we're doing. Basically, my concerns are for privacy. If GSV2 is a success, we are all sure data flow will, the node maps is gonna be incredibly centralized. I mean, our company will have access to all major communication channels. And from what I can see, pretty much any kind of data type. And our description systems on top of that. When I ask about what safeguards as a company have for this abuse of our position, I think sooner we address this, oh god, the better prepared we are to deal with privacy allegations as they come around. So that's why that dude got, like, wrecked? Dear Tom, that's why we hired you. 
thinking outside the box like this. We're so glad to see you, that here you share the same concerns I've had since I began work on this project. Let me tell you what they told me. Senior management have been working closely with government agencies to ensure all information flow is managed ethically with respect to personal privacy both here and abroad. Work is completely transparent within all layers of the government's high confidentiality channels. And I hope this allays your concerns. Thanks again. Also, I'm going to have you killed. What a jerk. All right, let's go. Gotta go in deeper. Ooh, buddy. Some good old fashioned mob spawners. Good enough. All right. Man, this has been a pretty complex system. And I mean, honestly, this isn't super compelling to watch. I do like reading the emails, though. Okay. Mm, just back it up. Okay, ooh, there's some money. Okay, so I just got, yeah, because those things, they like shoot everything on the line to your target. And I was just backing up, not actually doing anything. Oh, great. Um, cool, I'm just going to hang out here if that's cool. I see you down there. Sweet. Okay, so that's that trap avoided. Now what? There, I went through there. Ooh, I saw that. It said biometric data. Crashes biometric data. Heck yes. We are good. Let's get the heck out of here. Awesome. So let's charge our focus up. We'll heal on the way. Can I jump down from here? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay. Elevators are for chumps. All right. So, with this, we should be able to get into his office. However, I think here's a perfectly good place to stop. Um, hopefully, we'll get through this run next episode, but we will see. Um, you've been wonderful. This has been Cyberpunk TV. We'll be back with more decks. Let's go pick on a hacker.